Okay, question seven, part one asks us to find the x values. So don't bother trying to then go to find the y values afterwards. We just want the x values in this case of y equals 2x to the power of 4 minus x squared. So we've got a, a quartic graph here, which is a little bit unusual in, in C1, but it doesn't um, need, to, need to worry us. We're going to do the same thing that we always do. We're going to differentiate it. We're going to set that equal to 0. And we're going to solve whatever resulting equation we have to find out the, the x values. So. First job, differentiate. We're going to move the power to the front and take one off the power. Same thing for the second part. Move the power to the front, take one off the power. So we know stationary points, or at stationary points, that dy by dx is equal to zero. We've got a cubic to solve, which we normally wouldn't do until we get to C3, unless we have a common factor of x, which we do. So we can take that, in fact, we can divide by 2 first to make the equation a little bit smaller. So 4x cubed, take away x is equal to 0. As I said, take that x term out. So 4x squared, take 1. And we can already now see one one solution, one value, one x value. Um, the x value of one of the stationary points will be x is equal to zero from this here. There's going to be two more though because this factorizes. This is a sneaky difference of two squares. If we square root this, we get two x. If we square root this, we get one. So the full factorization of the cubic from here is x bracket 2x plus 1, 2x minus 1. And then the three x values are going to be x equals 0, x equals minus a half, and x equals positive a half. As I said, don't need to go back and find the y values. That's just, the, that's all we need to do for part one.